before we start the video, I just want to tell you a short story. So one of my best friends is from Taiwan. And when we started hanging out, I made a few mistakes by calling him Chinese. And you know, if you know, if you call a Taiwanese Chinese, you're literally dead. And it also applies to Taiwanese restaurants. So you're not supposed to call a Taiwanese restaurant a Chinese restaurant. So in today's episode of Taste the World Without Leaving London, let's go to China. Oh. I'm kidding. To Taiwan! Compared to New York or LA, London is a bit late on Asian food game, but I think many Asian cuisine in London is finally having a renaissance and Taiwanese food is no different. From my viral video last year at Good Friends Taiwanese Fried Chicken that put me on the spotlight on TikTok to a bit of high-end Mr. G's, there are so many Taiwanese food now in London, but you cannot beat the pioneer of Taiwanese food in London. Bao. Bao London focuses on making fresh Taiwanese baos with, with trendy interior and cute mascots. The dishes are small but it tastes so good. I took my Taiwanese friend from New York to Bao London and he approved. It already expanded with six different locations which I all tried and you can check my blog for what I think of each restaurant. But then I heard they were opening a Bao noodle shop specializing in Taiwanese national dish beef noodle soup and I thought it would be perfect for my taste the world without leaving London. I waited a month to open and finally went on the opening day. For Taiwanese noodle soup, normally I would always go to a Taiwanese owned Chinese restaurant in Taifang because it tastes so deep and memorable. But I wondered what would be like at Bao noodle soup. But I wondered would Bao noodle soup be able to beat Din Tai Fung and make Bao noodle soup my favorite place to go for beef noodle soup. Bao noodle is consistent with other branches with bright white wall with comfortable wooden vibe that gives a modern Taiwan vibe. There are two sections in the restaurant, one being at the front side with the open kitchen and the bar and a backside which is more calm and quiet. For me next time I would sit at the front side where you can see the action. The menu is super simple with just two noodle dishes one being the Taiwanese beef noodle soup and the other being beef rump noodle soup. They also have their signature bao dishes and bao boro market style small dishes. I didn't get the baos as I already tried it so many times and you can check my reviews up right corner. Instead I had the fried tripe and oh my oh my I wouldn't have known it was tripe at first and the crunchiness of the tripe was so good. If you are here for the beer, fried tripe would be that perfect dish like chime. And of course, I had the Taiwanese fried chicken. I heard their short rib is on a different level and it was true. So soft and tender like a baby's skin, it literally melted in my mouth. So naturally, I ordered extra short rib. As the direction says to observe and smell, give respect to the beef, lurp the noodles, drink the broth. Oh well, I ate the meat first, sorry. But was it better than Din Tai Fung's beef noodle soup? If I can compare, Bao was a pound cheaper but the portion was much bigger at Din Tai Fung. The noodles at Din Tai Fung was much better for me as I like thinner noodles but I think this is just a preference. But the meat was much better at Bao. Both of the food was rich and something I don't think I was able to pick a winner. So basically there is no winner. Both are amazing. I think for a bigger group Din Tai Fung would be better and a smaller cute date style or solo eater Bao London would be better. I think I was talking too much and let's end it here. And before we do please let me know below which country's food I should try and see you next time. Thank you